Hello Capricorn. So thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more insight. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need will be down in the comment section listed below. Okay, Capricorn. So what is going on? What's going on with my Capricorns? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so we have somebody who's very stable here who wants to be with you. Okay, but um, mm, there may be some silence, some awkward silence going on. This person is trying to gain control of the situation. Ace of Wands. They still want to be with you. They still want to offer you some type of longevity, but there's too much conflict around it. Yeah. Yeah. There is some type of ending here, but I don't know whether or not it's a temporary ending. Let's see how this person feels about this ending, this controlling energy. So whoever the one is that uh, left the situation trying to gain control, this person still wants to work on it, but they don't know whether or not they should. Ace of Pentacles. They definitely want something solid, stable, and committed, though. Um, I feel like the whoever this person is on the other end that uh, got broken up with or got left, they got left because they weren't putting any passion or any movement into it. Somebody felt like that person was a player. Yeah, I feel like this person may have been playing a few games here. And with the Three of Wands, now they're saying, hey, looking dumb, waiting. Because this was a connection that they really did feel. But this person is indecisive about what they want to do. So it's like, it doesn't matter how much they feel about the situation. They still don't put the energy that they need to into it. Not fully committed. The the Knight of Wands is not committal anyway because they like to put their passion in, in different areas. Like, they can't stay in one place too long. Okay, so let's see how this person feels about you, Capricorn. Spirit, please tell me how this person feels about Capricorn. How does this person view Capricorn and what is their, um, their intentions? The King of Wands. Okay, so this person is extremely passionate about you. And they do feel this connection. Okay, but they're, they want to take their time. They want to make sure that they're doing things right with you. They want something that's going to be for sure, I'm hearing. Yeah, this person wants you to offer them something big, long term. And I don't know whether or not you're ready for that. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, you're not. You're not. And this person is definitely not going to be happy about it. Let's see how they feel. This person is waiting for you to make a choice. They're acting very cold and detached because they feel like it's unbalanced. It's unbalanced because you're not giving this person what they want, basically, which is maybe commitment. Yeah, four of swords. Um, they're not speaking to you, or you may not be speaking to them right now. Ten of Cups, but there is something about a family happening here. And with the King of Cups, I feel like you have a lot of emotions and you might have wanted this too, but acting as if you don't give a fuck right now because this person is stressing you the fuck out. So what we have here is a pull, a push and pull of energies. Almost like, you're not going to tell me what to do. And then a, you're going to do what I say type of energy. Very back and forth. You guys argue like married couples already. Not even married. Okay. So now that we have that out the way, let's get to the outcome. Fred, what is the outcome? Fred, please tell me what is the outcome for my uh, Capricorns. Outcome for Capricorns, Spirit. I see you turning your back on something, but still waiting because there is a lot of love there. There is going to be some communication that comes into or from this person because the love is real, okay? This person doesn't want to give up on you, and I don't feel like you want to give up on them either. But let's see. What is the advice? Spirit, what is the advice? Hmm. I feel like this, this uh, advice can go two ways. If you decide that you want to be single from this person, you very well will be fine. But if you decide that you want to be with this person, just know that the rough, the waters are going to continue to be rough because this person is very controlling. Whether they notice that they do this or not, they they do do this, okay? It feels like if they don't get what they want, then they leave you. 
out in the cold. All right. Yeah, the moon card crossing the eight of pentacles because they want you to do something that you really don't want to do right now. Which is probably commit. Because I see three of pentacles as commitment wanting to work together. Okay. Oops. Let's get one card from the rebels out. It says, ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends on the internet. Listen to a damn professional and get the fuck off your ass. Your body is pissed. Wait. Get the fuck outside now. Move your ass. Your body is pissed at you. All right. Thank you, guys.